My name is Serena Sonatelli and I go to Coma Park Senior High. Anyone who knows Serena knows that Serena is um, opinionated. She's confident. Um, she has a presence about herself. She's a member of the debate team at the school. She's a peer mentor at Como Park Senior High. I have a girls group here. It focuses on black women in the school, or I should say black girls that are becoming women. The main objective of the group is to educate them and, and uplift them and give them a sense of sisterhood. When I first met Zarina, she was in the eighth grade, and I was so excited because she was over six feet tall. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness, I have a post player that I can develop. It kept me out of trouble. I couldn't imagine where I would be if I didn't have basketball practice every day after school. So she's taking, you know, courses that are rigorous. Um, she's very, very intentional um, about ensuring that she's doing well in school. I was born and raised here my whole life. My dad was never in the picture, and when he was, it was abuse and neglect. So that was a big part of my childhood growing up. She's been through being homeless even when her mom was here, um, the physical violence. There are some situations that have come up in Zarina's life far before last year that forced her to not only grow up faster, but to lose her childhood. We moved every single year, but my mom, she never had a job. There was no like trips to the park with mom. There was no like summer vacation. So that was something constantly like not being able to afford things. And I remember fussing at her about her jacket. Where's your jacket? Um, it's, it's 30 below outside. It's gonna be so cold. After several days of seeing her without a jacket, the realization came to me that maybe she doesn't have a jacket. I lived over on the east side of St. Paul, and I came home and there was eviction notice on the door. At that point, I lived with one of my teammates for a few weeks, and then I lived with um, a friend of the family for a few months. I got a call. Her mom said, I'm leaving to go to Seattle, and I trust you to look after my child. And so at that time I said, you're just gonna stay with me until we figure this out. So I started looking up places where, you know, um, transitional living programs. Um, I, I came across the Booth Brown House. It was a very long application process, but I finally got in. She has a one bedroom apartment um, where she can prepare her own meals. It's her own private unit. She has the tools and resources that she needs to be successful and to be safe. I've never experienced homelessness. I've never experienced not having a family. I've never experienced that kind of desolation. And here she is. I am proud of everything that I've been through. I mean, I wouldn't be sitting in front of you if I didn't go through those things. What stands out about Zarina is her ability to keep going. She has determination and she has drive. So after I graduate from Como, I wanna go down to Atlanta. I already got into Clark, but I really wanna to go to Spelman. And then once I obtain my degree, from either one of those schools, I want to go get my law degree. She is always talking about um, she wants to go into the criminal justice system, whether that be a lawyer or judge. She wants to be a voice for children who have experienced things like what she's experienced in life. But I do want to come back and make a difference. Uh, we have the highest education gap in the nation, and that's something that my goal is to change and make sure that my life counted while I was here. My senior quote is, um, my circumstances don't define who I am, they reveal who I've chosen to be. And realizing that you have the power to change your circumstances is something that's so powerful, that's something that's inspirational, and that's something that's kept me going.